In my last video, you learned how to look amazing and versatile in every outfit. It's only natural that after that, you would want to reach out to your phone and take some pictures and selfies. So today, let me show you how to shoot that outfit of the day. If you're new to my channel, I'm Parmita Katkar, a Chicago-based lifestyle photographer, always bringing you some new information to find your beauty, to love yourself, create interesting lifestyle and look better than you did yesterday. So stay with me till the end of this video to see the slideshow of today's photo gallery from this video. Welcome to Blush With Me. The most common way of shooting outfit of the day is a mirror image. Here's my suggestion. Instead of clicking it on a photo mode, click it on a portrait mode. This way it will blur out all the background and keep you in focus and your outfit. Portrait mode focuses on a smaller part of the picture. So it's impossible to take the whole outfit in portrait mode. But when you're taking outfit of the day, it would be perfect if nothing else is in focus. So how do we use the portrait mode? Mirror image. This picture is taken on a regular mode where you can see everything else in focus. And this one is taken on a portrait mode. So if you're taking a picture where you want to highlight your whole outfit and blur everything else out, portrait mode in a mirror is perfect. <laughs> also, when you're clicking your mirror image, you can either show your face or cover it. When you cover your face, you bring more attention to your outfit. Also, when I'm clicking my mirror image, I avoid keeping my phone camera right in front of my chest. I actually move it slightly to an angle facing me. So the camera is not straight. It's kind of tilted this way and it's facing me. And when you click it, you can crop the picture out to just keep yourself in the picture. So there's no need for your phone to distract the picture. Next, apart from your outfit, look for a few other objects that have the same color combinations or have the ability to enhance the whole look. If your outfit of the day consists of a few significant pieces, like your handbag or belt or lipstick color, everything that makes that picture complete, take individual pictures of those in a square mode and then put them together in a collage. This kind of brings more attention to every piece you're wearing in your outfit. If you saw my part two version of how to take selfies, I will link it in the description below. You will notice instead of using a selfie stick, I used a tripod and I'm a big fan of using a tripod because it has two purposes. I could either place it on the ground or wherever I want, put it on a self timer mode and take my own pictures. And two, it gives my arm enough extension where I can capture my outfit of the day from a very unique top angle. Yet another way of taking pictures with tripod is lying down. I lie down on the floor, extend your arm out, boom. And there you have an absolutely unique way of taking the outfit of the day. If you have any interesting backgrounds like rugs or flooring, lying down and shooting outfit of the day is fabulous because it creates again a very interesting image and a new angle to shoot as well. Now this is something absolutely unique. I don't know how many of you have even seen or tried it before. Just shoot half your body. This to me is very intriguing because you're only seeing half the outfit but you're getting the idea of what the whole outfit would look like and I like to do it from back and front both. The beauty about your phone is you don't just have to hold it at one angle and take one kind of selfie. If you turn it sideways and put it on a tripod you can get some wide lens long shots. Try it from different angles depending on what you want to highlight in your picture or what mood you want to create. Not look. The outfit by itself is not going to look great unless you make it look good. And for it to look good, you have to bring something about yourself that you enjoy the most. So say for example, I like my smile, I'll bring that into the picture. If you like your waistline, make sure you highlight that. If you have great legs, then take great full length walking candid selfies. If you have beautiful eyes or you know how to do your makeup to enhance your eyes really well, then bring that into your pictures because the outfit is incomplete without you, your personality and your strength. So bring it on. I really enjoyed making this video. Can't wait to hear how you liked it. Take great pictures and help your friends look amazing too. So please share. If you share this video on your Facebook page, 
don't forget to tag me because I would be thrilled to comment. It helps me get closer to you and also don't forget to comment below if you liked today's video. And if you were tempted to pull your phone out and try a selfie while you watch this video, then let me know in the comments because then you are just like me. If I learn something new, I want to try it immediately. Subscribe to my channel. It's advisable because then you can watch me every week. You can watch me, my pictures on a regular basis on my Instagram accounts and also on my Facebook fan page. So do follow me there too. And if you're looking to book a portrait session with me, then please reach out on my website. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Flush with me. Thank you.